Alrighty guys, so I got something really cool in the mail today. This is a factory Honda Pioneer winch switch. And why it matters is because most winch switches that come um, with winches are crap. Um, they look like this, they're not very waterproof. This is actually one that's been working okay for a little while, but they're junk. So I wanted to upgrade it. Also, most standard winch switches do not fit in the cutouts on the Honda Pioneer and the Honda Talon. These cutouts are massive, right? So you need a really big switch um, to fit in there where these big switches are. So on the Pioneer, you've got these big Honda style switches up here and here. And then down here, you've got some regular style switches. So you could put a regular switch in here. That's what the cutout looks like. Um, and there are some aftermarket winch switches that claim to be waterproof that fit this size. But on the Honda Talon, you don't have these size cutouts. Every cutout is this side. Um, these big ones, and they have them over here too on the Talon. So I actually bought these for my friend's Talon, and I figured I'd put one in here too while I was at it. But um, let me give you the part number. All right, so here's the part number. They ship directly from Partzilla in about two days. Um, that's which is great. And uh, they're about 25 bucks. So I think this is the best winch switch you can get. And the reason I say that is because this style switch has been on my Talon and my Pioneer and they spent more time underwater than above water and I've never had an issue with any of those switches. It's the same style switch as the headlights and stuff. If you look at the back of the switch, um, it's got a lot of potting and it's very well sealed. I'm trying to move too much of the wires just twisted right now. Um, but you're gonna be confused when you get it because it's got five wires on it. So the point of this video is to tell you what those five wires are. Pioneer, you got five wires. The two outside wires are for your LED. The middle wire, the blue is your, um, the, the, the black is your common, so that'd be your power in. The blue would be winch out, and the yellow would be winch in. Pretty easy to set up, um, and it's a very quality feeling switch. So yeah, how did I figure it out? I put it in a vise and held in, and I tested the continuity across it until I found two wires that were connected, and then I held out, tested the continuity across until I found two wires that are connected, and then I hooked these other two wires up to a battery until the light came on, and I realized, you know, what the heck was going on. Pretty simple. The only reason I'm not wiring up the LEDs is because I don't want to have any extra wires running around than I have to. So I'd have to run a wire to ground and then a wire to my headlight output or something like that. And um, none of my other switches light up. So I have to use a little um, light on the roof anyways to see my switches at night. So having one more switch that doesn't light up is, is not a big deal for me at all. So coming out of the back of the switch, you have a white with a blue stripe, a yellow, a solid blue, a solid black, and a white with a black stripe. Um, when you start off doing this, go ahead and take your white wires, um, your white blue and your white black, fold those out of the way. You don't actually need them. Um, those are just for the light in the switch. There's an LED in the switch. The common wire for the switch is the black. So you see I have the black right there. Black's common. And then the wires that go out to the solenoid to give it power to engage are the yellow and the blue. Yellow is in. So when you press the in, I in button on the switch, it connects the common, which is the black, to the yellow, and which goes in. Um, same way most of these switches work. There's three wires, this one has no LED obviously, but all it does, this winch, is it connects the center pole to the side pole whenever you hit the button. It's a very simple two position momentary switch. So um, that's how you wire it. Um, and on my winch, this is, this is what N was. N was yellow to yellow, um, brown to blue, and black to blue. So, you know, you, you can, you can, your winch might be different um, depending if you get a Warren or whatever. This is the Walmart, um, I don't even know, rough, tough, tough, rough, or uh, I don't know, tough winch. $100 winch with synthetics from working great. The free spool isn't the best. It gets stuck sometimes. That's why you get a Warren to get good free spool. Um, but all you need to make it work is to give power to the solenoid to either this pin or this pin and the winch will go opposite direction. So pretty simple. I think it's a good upgrade. I'm making this video also so I can remember because I'm going to wire this up in my front. Ooh. Ooh. If you touch those wires together, let me, let me illustrate how the winch works by the way. So if you touch um, that, that, it goes one way. You see them touching and this, it goes the other way. So that, that's all you're doing is you're connecting those two or these two. So if your winch switch goes bad, just cut the wires and touch them together. Pretty simple. Um, that's your hot and you're giving power to either. All right, so here's the finished product. I decided to put it up here uh, where it's a little higher and easier to get to. This used to be a blank right there. Um, so I just pop the blank out, pop the switch in, fit super easy. 
One nice thing about having it up high instead of down here is when you're reaching over the dash to hit the button to spool in your cable, it's a little easier to reach. Also, it's easier to get to the wires on these three. These ones down here are kind of buried. Um, this is where my old winch switch was, so I got to get another blank to stick in there because that looks shitty. So I did temporarily. I could just trim it, put some electrical tape over it, but you know, it'll probably look like that forever knowing me. But yeah, it works good. In, out, very premium feeling switch, and it matches these perfectly. You know, I didn't wire up the lights because these don't have lights either. So if I need a light, I just hit this button up here, boop, that turns on, and then I got lights everywhere. So no problems there. A little battery light action. Uh, I still haven't figured out the issue with the parasitic draw um, from the power steering system. So I'm leaving the fuse out until I go ride it. I'm going to add a switch. I ordered a switch to mount right here as a total battery disconnect. I uh, looked into the wiring diagrams a little bit more, checked out all the relays. They're all working good. So I really don't know what it is. seems like something in the power steering system itself. And it's not a bad enough draw for me to really investigate any further. I'm just going to live with it.